Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Thursday, December 1st, 2022. It's 10.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my Coping with Schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today, my anxiety levels are very high. My paranoia and delusions are very high. Um, I'm thinking that people are following me, spying on me, plotting to hurt me in some way physically. Um, and following me around and laughing at me and talking about me. Um, my anxiety levels are extremely high. I feel like I'm on the verge of panic. My auditory hallucinations are pretty intense. Um, my depression is pretty severe. Um, I just saw my peer support specialist yesterday. <coughs> so I got some support from her yesterday. I'm seeing my psychotherapist next week, as well as my psychiatrist. I'll be seeing my psychotherapist on the 7th and my psychiatrist on the 8th. Um, so those appointments are not too far away. I'm coping as best as I can by sticking to my daily schedule. Um, it's hard to concentrate today on anything. I did just do some work on my computer. I do consumer surveys for extra money. Um, I haven't gone outside yet, but I'm going to do my daily walk and physical therapy exercises for my bodily pain in my pain in my right knee. Um, I also have arthritis in my lower back and arthritis in my upper back. Um, winter always tends to make my physical and mental health symptoms worse. My physical pain increases which only aggravates my anxiety, my paranoia, my delusions, and my depression, my auditory hallucinations, and my anxiety levels. Um, winter is a tough time for a lot of people, especially if they already have a mental illness. Um, I'm seeing my therapist more often than usual. I'm seeing her once every two weeks. I'm seeing my peer support specialist once every two weeks and I'm seeing my psychiatrist once every six weeks. Um, I don't see the psychiatrist more often because he really just handles my medications and we've made no major changes in my medications at all. The last major change we added an extra half milligram of Quanapine to my daily um, medication list. Um, I have a telephone appointment with my gastroenterologist. I have to talk to her about possibly having an endoscopy done on my throat, my esophagus with a camera and they may have to dilate my esophagus because when I swallow food, food gets stuck in my esophagus. Um, it doesn't block my airways, but it does get stuck there and it may stick there for 15 or 20 minutes before the food either goes down or it comes back up out of my mouth um, because my esophagus wants to force it out. Um, it's a very uncomfortable feeling when that happens. It's very disconcerting. It's not necessarily life threatening. Um, I did have to go to the emergency room once for it where they had to stick something down my throat to push the food down because it was stuck in my esophagus and it wasn't moving. So I have to talk to my gastroenterologist um, about dilating my esophagus again because I've had it done before. And the reason I mention that is because the problems with my esophagus muscles are caused by my Seroquel. Seroquel and all my psychiatric medications have side effects. Constipation, difficulty swallowing, um, akathisia, which is agitation, um, physical agitation is the best way to put it. Um, there's a lot of different side effects from a lot of different medications that I'm taking, and I'm taking medications for side effects of other medications. I take laxatives to avoid constipation. I take medications to avoid akathisia. Um, it's just a long list of medications. Um, but uh, 
Other than that, I'm just trying to stick to my daily schedule, keep things as normal as possible, do all the daily activities and living that I have to do, including shaving, brushing my teeth, um, taking a shower, wearing clean clothes, doing my laundry, keeping my apartment clean and sticking to my daily schedule. A sense of structure and normalcy is necessary when you have schizophrenia. You have to have something to do to occupy your time. It's extremely important to do that. Um, and sometimes all you can do is push yourself forward and force yourself to do things regardless of what my symptoms are. Um, so there's not much else to report right now. I'm not suicidal, I'm not violent, I'm not dangerous to myself or other people. I think I have a need to feel to say that. Um, with all the weirdos out there who make videos of them become violent, that's not me, that's not what I do. Um, so there's nothing else to report. Like, comment, share, subscribe.